Water testing for your aquarium is important, but these test trips don't always deliver a secure value. So I bought a Colombo test lab professional and this is what you can all measure and that should be enough for the normal aquarist or if you breed some aquarium fishes it's for the pond and the marine aquarium as well and this is what it contains 12 bottles with fluid for the different tests two powders here yeah, one for nitrate and then six nice cuvettes as well little spoon and uh, that looks all very proper the manual comes in six languages and it is easy to read and you should read it because there are important tips in there but there's also uh, little cards for several of the tests and with those cards you can quickly see how to test uh, for example phosphate and here you can read uh, which value you have because the fluid gets a uh, color during the test you will see that later on here we have a first test we will do ph 5 milliliters 5 droplets and then shake a little bit and then you can compare the color with the color on the card keep the bottle straight it is written and you can see here i choose ph 6.0 don't do this in the sun because then your eyes get diffused a little bit uh, you might as well take a picture because and then a reading because that is uh, more proper more secure than reading uh, it yourself with your eye nitrate five droplets of fluid one five of fluid two a little bit of powder shake and then wait 15 minutes so you might use a timer start with the 15 minute tests first and then the 10 minutes and the five minutes and in between you can do the tests that you can do directly nitrite nothing zero as it should be and one milligrams of phosphate well that's that's no problem that's good for the plants and uh, you can see on the left ammonia was also zero nitrate 100 milligrams per liter learns me that i need to do a water change total hardness first with fluid one you color the water and then you count the amount of droplets of fluid two before it comes blue and the amount of droplets says the total hardness in this case it will be eight droplets so gh is eight which is fine for the amazon tank you will see all the water measurements in the end so I really like this suitcase and here's the tank so nitrate a little bit high well we do water change no problem and then fill with reverse osmosis water again but uh, as you can see in in a minute uh, pH was 6 which is normally fine but the only little problem is that KH yeah, uh, is fewer than one because we always refresh with reverse osmosis water so i want to raise the kh yeah and not so good because without a good kh you carbonate hardness your ph might drop so i will explain how to do that in the next video see you then and hope you enjoyed it bye bye